Hello dear doers, welcome back to this new video on cart and checkout customization. When it comes to checkout options, you can enable digital content for your customers, let them reorder items easily or customize their browsing experience. So let's have a look together. So let's go in our website to configure a few options in the settings. In this case, we have a checkout process category where we will be able to activate a few options. For example, the Add to Cart, which allows your customers to either stay on the product page or go directly to the cart. And you can also leave your customer to decide whether they want to stay or not. So we will choose this option in this case. We have the option to add a Buy Now button, which will allow your customers to directly go to their checkout instead of having to add the product to the cart first. So let's activate this button as well. There is a digital content possibility where it will allow your customers to download content from their portal. And note that you can always put your mouse on the category to know what it does actually. So in this case, it's just to download content. The extra step during checkout will allow you to add a customizable form during the checkout. It will come after the address and you can configure it from here or from the front end, which we will do later on. And then we can allow your customers to reorder from their portal. Um, that will allow you to just leave your customer that have a portal access to just, down, um, to just add the, the same product again in their portal. That's all very interesting, but what does it look like on a website? Well, thank you for asking. I will show it right away, but first we will save these options here. So after saving, we can go to our shop and we can click on this product and we already see that we have the buy now button that appears just here. Note that you can also add this button on from the website builder on by clicking on this edit button. We can add the product to the cart and see the two options that we activated here to let your customers continue shopping or proceed to the checkout. Since I want to show you the next step, I will already click on proceed to checkout. On this button, I can actually click on edit. And I don't like uh, the words, the wording that is used here. So I will change it a bit by putting instead of review order. Well, great choice. I think it looks nicer. And then instead of confirm order, we will go to w with you're almost there. From this page, you can also activate a few options. For example, you can um, force your customers to accept the terms and conditions before having to buy the product. And then you can also decide whether you want to show or not the B2B fields here. We will save it like this and we will proceed to the next step. So on the next step, I have all the details that I need to enter for my address. Let's do it really quickly. Um, I live on Happiness Street 101 and on the city Brussels zip code and the country in Belgium. So now that this is all ready, I can go to the next step. And from here, I can confirm and I will get to my extra info step. On this page, I can actually edit and change those, but I don't know what I will put here. What do you think, Audrey? What if we remove those fields and instead we let our customers decide which pickup date they want? Yes, that's a great idea, actually. So let's remove those. And we have the option afterwards to add a new field. And as you said, we will decide, let our customers decide actually when they want to pick up the product. So when are, are you going to pick up the product? Um, without spelling mistakes, it's even better. And then we can choose to add a selection field. That's the type of uh, field that we will put and the options. I think we, are, we will be at the warehouse on Mondays, um, Tuesdays, if I'm not mistaken, and Fridays as well. So that those are my three options. And I can also decide to put it as required because I want my customers, of course, to fill in this option here. So let's save this. And as you can see, you can already see that you can choose between the three options and you have the little star here that shows that this field is required. So let's go to the next step. 
And once I'm here, I can actually see the terms and conditions. This is a button that the customers can click to see the details of the terms and conditions that I configured. And once I click on Agree, I have now the option to pay with my credit card. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.